All right, what is up, guys? I'm going to show you guys how to get something to follow you in your Game Maker games, as you can see here. It's actually not that complicated, but it kind of is in a big chunk of code, so I've highlighted it here for you to see. Essentially, what this does is what you saw when I crossed the 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 wolf or the dog's x or y axis the the game knows which side of the pet that I'm on so it will turn him in the direction that I'm facing and then make him move towards my x point is essentially how this works um and it limits it till I get too close so it doesn't do this weird buggy glitchy thing as you can see here he turns when I walk past him, and he doesn't, like, keep turning left and right and left to right every step if I get to the center of him. Because there is a distance code that I use to also keep that from happening, but it's not in this part. I'm just showing you guys the, uh, the core stuff of how this works. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, if you want me to do more tutorials on this game specifically, this is MapleStory, by the way. It's a MapleStory fan game that I never finished. If you guys want me to do more tutorials on it, I can do that. But I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.